Yeah, well, we finished where I left off from. No, start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. <clears throat> As I was, you know, going to school, take well, taking my kids to school, and I was headed to work. Um, I made a left. I, I live right up in the neighborhood, further down in on Garwood. I made a left on Egan, and uh, cars are going ultimately slow. It's a blue and white van. Uh, as I attempted to, to go around him, um, I was on the side of him, passing him, and he attempted to uh, attempt to run me off the road. Um, I sped up and got in front of him, and he ran my white Honda, ran right in the back of it. Uh, my kids were terrified. They were all crying. Okay. Uh, I went ahead, and I passed him. Okay. And he fired a shot at me. It looked as if it was a silver revolver. He fired a shot at me. Okay, and then I, as I was, um, when, he, when he passed me and fired a shot at me, <clears throat> I was behind him at that time. And what I did, I, was, I wasn't trying to do harm at all. As you can look at the van, it probably had bullet holes in it because I shot at his, I was trying to shoot at his tires. I was trying to fire his tires and at the same time telling my child to call 911. Um, I stopped firing. We went all the way to the end of the road, which ended up into Lake Underhill. Made it right on Lake Underhill. So at that time, I was going to take my kids home. Uh, he made it right on Lake Underhill. I made it right on Lake Underhill. Then we made it right on Goldenrod. And then as we came to um, Audenville, I made a right to come back home and drop my kids off. Um, I didn't want him to know uh, where my residence was. Um, as I dropped my kids, I told them to hurry get out of the car. I turned around and I saw him. He had apparently turned around also and came back at me. After he passed my road, he came back at me. Um, I made a left here on Garwood and he was going, actually going right when he was coming back out, it seems. Um, so when I saw him come back at me with his gun, I pulled over here and stepped out of my vehicle. And with his gun firing at me, I fired at him. And I was on the phone with 911 at the time, and that's when I gave my report to 911. I have to ask you, why in the world would you put your children in that kind of danger? Why not just call 911 in the beginning? I called 911, but if someone's firing at me, by God, I'm going to protect myself and my family. I don't care what you news guys think about it. I'm going to fire at them because if someone's fired at me, I'm going to protect myself. He apparently doesn't live too far from the neighborhood, so I'm going to protect myself at all costs. Weren't you worried, though, that your children could have been shot in this gunfight? I'm always worried about any kids at any time in gunfights. But I don't really call it a gunfight. But like I said, he fired at me. I'm going to fire back at him to protect myself. I have all the right. Do you have a permit to carry I sure that gun? Do. And I'm former law enforcement. Do you former law enforcement? Yes, you? I am. Uh, I was with the state um, and uh, another branch, and I'm also military also. What kind of gun did you fire at him? I carried a, uh, I carried a 45, and I also carry a backup weapon, which is a 38. Do you know Do you know him? I, I know nothing of him. Mm -hmm. I never see, saw his vehicle before. I know nothing of him, period. How many shots did you fire at him? I'm not at sure. All? I'm not sure. Several? Uh, several, of course. But I, uh, I'm, I paid attention to fire at his tires. Uh, I didn't know... Um, attempt to fire at him personally until he came at me at a second time, and that's when I fired at the individual. Mm -hmm. All right. What's your name? My name is Lewis. Lewis. Lewis Davis. How do you spell your first name? L O U I S.